Good afternoon, good morning, good night, everyone. Welcome to Night News. My name is Jeff, or Random, and uh, we are fully announcing Night News here. I I'm switching this channel now to Night News. Uh, it, it was received so well on my main channel to where I just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to do this like a full-on thing here on this channel. I'm just going to have like other segments. And this is uh, part news, but part also update. Uh, just for those of you that don't know, uh, this whole entire shtick, this whole uh, news network thing is basically uh, just me covering everything. Uh, I'm, I'm not really going to go so much into like drama. There might be a, a occasionally every now and then, maybe uh, only if Ninja's doing it, but uh, just every now and then it might, it might happen, but it's really just going to be uh, unbiased your thoughts your opinions and just really that for those things but i'm going to stick a majority to the game just new things that come out uh theories possibly i i really wanted to do this during the tilted towers time while everything was going on but with all moving and everything that we had going on here i couldn't really do that but just really quickly also well we're going to be doing giveaways and if you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and just comment night news uh you have a chance to get uh, some v bucks and we'll announce those winners soon soon so also uh another thing as well is uh we made a new twitter uh, when I say we, I mean uh, me and another person, and th there might not be another person, and that other person might be me. But yeah, so I made another Twitter, the link is in the description, and if you guys have anything you want me to cover, or if you see anything that's kind of weird, you have weird clips or anything like that, or if you want to just send clips or send whatever that is Fortnite related, you can go send that to that. But I really wanted to make something like this also. Uh, for like the longer videos just so like later on I want to do podcast interviews and I kind of feel like I have a good mentality when it comes to like doing something like this So I want to try it out So I'm very excited about this and I hope you guys are as well and right here There is going to be this is going to be our clip of the day If you guys want to see the full clip of this the link is in the description to a reddit post and this is amazing I've always kind of joked that you could do like uh, just like smoke rides and, and grenade rides, but you can actually do port fort rides. You could be high in the air and you can throw a port fort just like kind of like a rocket ride, and you could make a port fort just like a giant one. I do not know if that guy landed on the tires or not, to, and that's why he survived, or if he actually just did the port fort just goes up and you're totally fine. And because he's a, he's on top of the port fort, he's totally fine. So I don't know, but uh, that's a, that's pretty interesting and amazing. And if you guys want to be a part of the clip of the day, all you got to do is just send over a clip, uh, just uh, the URL, the link over to the Twitter, and there's a possibility that you might be in it. Also today we have these daily items as well, and just like I said earlier, we're giving away V-Bucks as well, so if you want a chance to actually get these skis today, just be sure to subscribe, turn off on notifications, and comment night news. That's it. The next one I wanted to cover is something a, a little bit uh, just kind of spoiler heavy. If you guys don't have the battle pass, or if you do have the battle pass and you know the very first character that you get and the last character you get, this is a little bit of a spoil. If you guys didn't know, within the battle pass, this time, this season, you can actually rank up uh, two specific characters, the first one and the last one. And with these characters, uh, the higher you go, uh, you get a cooler axe and uh, I believe four different things uh, added onto your character when you progressively go through all the levels from zero to 100. Shout out to Drake, God's plan. But these are the full skins that when you reach the top uh, level that you are able to unlock every single piece and that's this is basically it. Really, really cool. Uh, I, I feel like they should be doing this with a lot of other characters, and maybe this was a little bit of a test for them to kind of figure out. And in my opinion, uh, I really think Omega looks really sick, but I feel like with it being the uh, top character in the battle pass, I feel like it, it should have been a lot crazier, just because I, I kind of feel like it's on the same boat as, as the first character that you get for the max. And so hopefully within the future, it gets a little bit more insane just because it gives you like a really big initiative to like really grind really hard. And to kind of segue into our next story, I've always kind of said that whenever I do happen to buy the battle pass, it has kind of been a mixture of two things. 
for me to also <laughs> it's a pretty easy way to get views just because you show off the full entire battle pass just everything in it just because not a lot of people can just buy the whole entire thing and show you every single item and just show that you actually have it on the other hand i've also said that it's a really good way to help benefit epic games for just creating a good game just because they give you a free game in the first place even though all their skins and everything are pretty overpriced but I see that the battle pass actually isn't. It's like a legitimate thing, and if you want to spend that extra money, go ahead. However, that argument is probably not very good anymore, considering that Fortnite, ever since they launched the iOS version, they've made over $50 million. So can't use that argument anymore. I do think it's really cool that they also did add the whole when you rank yourself up, you are able to get these new cosmetics that are just for playing just like I said for the first character and the last character that you get in the battle pass and it's just like another incentive for you to grind so even if you buy the full thing you still have to grind to get a, to get those things but the majority of the battle pass you don't you could just grind and not have to buy so from somebody that is a youtuber it's really to me I don't really care but it seems like a lot of people will actually have like a little bit of a soft spot for it and I think it's mostly because just a lot of people can't buy it and they themselves have to grind for it. So I just want to know your guys' opinion. Do you think it's kind of stupid when people buy the full entire battle pass? Or do you understand the reasons behind it? Because personally, I can understand it. But you can have your opinion. Also, can we just take a second to absolutely love just Twitter gaming? Sniping and Fortnite can take out rivals without knowing what hit them. Really? I've been seeing a lot more posts from uh, Twitter gaming, especially as of late, about Fortnite. And it's just very funny to see that... They have a slight understanding of <laughs> Fortnite, but just it's not 100% there. Now this next bit of news has actually happened a couple of days ago, but I want to cover this just because I want you guys to know that I am very much in love with esports and I cannot wait to see what Fortnite esports has to bring as we saw in Ninja 2018 in Vegas that uh, crazy numbers, everything was absolutely insane and of course it was Ninja's live stream and that's why it was so ridiculous, but I just also personally want to see where Fortnite is going to take esports and what is going to be changing and like the competitive competitive aspect of the game and so recently what we had is we had a very kind of weird thing going on with phase where Ricegum had joined and then it was a joke I think a majority of people could have seen that coming but right after that we actually saw the newest phase recruit for Fortnite and that is Tifu. so Tifu will be playing Tifu, Tifu, Tifau will be partnering with Space Lion, Jo, and Cloaksy and just from somebody that's been watching some battle royale games become into the competitive scene I, I'm really just in curiosity of how this is all going to work out for just Fortnite in general. There's so many teams now that have ha that have Fortnite rosters that yet an event hasn't happened. We see a lot of scrims that are incredible, but is Fortnite still going to be Fortnite when we get into these new tournaments? Is it going to be a completely different game? Are people going to be uh, landing with uh, like loot and guns already prepared for them? Or is it just going to be a whole another randomization factory like we see so much with H1Z1? I don't know. What are, what are your guys' opinions? Personally, I am very confident in what Fortnite is going to do. I'm just a little concerned just because seeing all these, I, I myself wouldn't be wanting to play within these tournaments just because it, it's so RNG based. Like, I, I don't want to be landing at some place that uh, I land with a pistol and it, the dude next to me lands with an RPG and a shotgun and I die and I lose a $100,000 tournament just because of that. And I understand that's pretty much like, that's not gonna happen because the majority of people will just go to like different places, but that's definitely a possibility. And just based off of like a little bit of an RNG during the game, I don't, I don't want that to be a thing. I don't want to lose a ton of money just because of that. And for this next story, we have a little bit more of a spoiler as well. If you guys uh, don't want to see axes, pickaxes, if you don't want to see new skins, dances, or anything like that, uh, there is a new pickaxe and a new dance that was just found in a random lobby. If you guys want to see this full video, the link is in the description. But this guy hops into a lobby and what was thought to be an epic employee turns out to be like a complete random, but he's seen with a new dance move and he's also seen with a new pickaxe and just, I don't know if this is going to be happening 
sooner or later or if this was just if anything a test i've always thought it would be an amazing idea if epic were to release some of these things to very specific people just making it uh like very cool if you happen to get picked out of the like millions of people that are playing this game if there was like a new gun that came out uh you would there would be like one chest out of like a thousand games that the new gun would come out and then the next week it would be released and it's just very limited amount of time and very very uncommon that you would see the new gun or the new pickaxe or the new thing that comes out and it would just make it very like a special very special entity that fortnite could have but uh it, then again how did this guy he it was it was claimed to be this guy was just a random and he wasn't even ep even an epic employee maybe he was an undercover an epic employee so do you guys like the pickaxe do you like the dance I think it's all right. I think the axe is decent and I'm to be honest not really a fan of the dance But that's gonna be covering it today for night news Thank you guys so much for joining in and being a part if you guys want to be a part of a V-Bucks giveaway All you have to do is subscribe turn on notifications and then comment night news And like I said earlier if you guys want us to cover any stories or anything that you see out of the ordinary Please be sure to add us on our Twitter and again. This has been night news your best worst unbiased bias 100% factual fictional Fortnite News Network. Thank you for watching. My name Jeff.